Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome to the channel. This is Hill, and we are here bringing you Splinter Cell Blacklist. I've been looking for games to play to, to put on the channel, and it's been kind of difficult with these current gen, next gen games, many of which I have found to be very disappointing. I'm not even going to name names and, you know, start any kind of controversy. But I wanted to bring you a game that I enjoy, and I wanted to bring you something other than Skyrim. So we have Splinter Cell Blacklist that came out in 2013. And this is one of my favorite games. This, this is how I was introduced to Splinter Cell. This was the first Splinter Cell game that I played, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, 2013, I did this on the Xbox 360. We're now playing it on the PC with an Xbox 360 controller, and we have the video settings cranked up to 4K resolution. So, let's... Uh, give this a try see how things go and I'm gonna be quiet during the cutscenes that are about to start and I will resume uh, speaking again once I have control of the character all right so welcome and here we go find you no need general we're coming to America contract says no weapons not on this kind of op who needs to know general McGowan but this might make you feel better Little souvenir I picked up in Indonesia. Thanks, Vic, but if I need a karambit for aerial recon, we've got bigger problems. Can't hurt. Hey, where's Charlie with that sat phone? Huh? Hey, sorry. Just putting the finishing bits of awesome on this puppy. Signal skips base combo completely. What for? Keeps the DOD types from backseat driving. That's why you're here, kid. Sam. Let's move. Uploading. We're in. Teams, this is King. We are go. Han says go. Bishop says go. Knight says go. Rook is go. Queen says go. Anything else, Chief? Let Sarah know I'll be offline for a few days. Sarah, she's still single, right? No, that's... I'm gonna take that as a no. Stop hacking base IT. We're guests here. Yeah, but they make it so easy. Video's up. Engaging two hostiles. I've got it. Site F encryption keys, 40 days until expiration. Hostiles are down. Let's go. Jam everything, and move out. The blacklist is live. Now. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02, requesting permission to lift off. Do you copy? Radio up. Radio's working fine. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02, requesting permission to lift off from Chopper Pad Alpha Niner. Well, we're behind. Fuck the protocol. Need to make it back in time from a gallon's Texas Hold'em game? How do you think I'm paying for the chopper? 
Leave him. Bravo team, report. Bravo is gone. Move in. Zero two, we're going down. Hang on. <sighs> we make the base just outside the perimeter. Take a light. We're a big target out here. Ah. Uh, Vic, give me a hand. I'm stuck. Charlie Sackfall. Yeah. Oh, shit. Are you guys okay? What the fuck is happening? Chopper's down. We're fine. Munitions depot must have been hit. Where are you? Hiding under a truck with my laptop. Listen, guys, all the radio channels are down. It's got to be an RF jammer. There's a signal... Northwest of you. All right, you sit tight. We'll find the jammer. Come on. Uh, I'll bet those sons of bitches are using one of our jammers. Uh, what makes you say that? That's what I do. Uh, eyes open, Sam. All right, and we are finally back under control Guys of the character here. Pros, we're not even packing sidearms. Great, it's just give us some cover. And I think this is going to be a little tutorial, so I have to make sure that I pay attention to these prompts. Jesus, that's not mortar fire. Sounded like Katushis. He's right there. I'm wounded. Well, I never noticed those guys were right up there all this time. But I can climb up on my own, I see. Hostiles. Rat cover. Copy. There's one friendly, two hostiles. We take the one on the left, not on the right. Hey! Yeah. Get the camera going. Bravo Company just back to Corporal. They're bringing him down now. Good. Good. This one won't last much longer. Similar cover going. mechanics yeah, in the division. Let's see, we are going to, I guess, go non-lethal for, well, yeah, yeah non-lethal really? for on. now. Nah, who am I kidding? Let's kill him. Hey! He's bleeding out, but he's not going anywhere if they're blocking Kama. I'll stabilize him. You take out the jam. Oh, I think. Good luck. I've got to get used to this. Car. 
cover system though. It's a different uh, keys, different controller, because I play uh, Division on the, uh, the PlayStation. This is a game that I would have liked to have seen remastered uh, when the, these developers were all going on this remastering binge. It would have been nice if uh, this game got shown some love, especially since they haven't deemed it important to release another uh, Splinter Cell game. Quite famous for these uh, knocking out these lights. Are you kidding me? I hit the kill button. Oh my goodness. All right, like I said, I'm out of practice here and, and rusty. I don't appreciate that. The kill is kill. Come on now, game.
God, I can barely control the guy. His the controls are so loose. Hmm? Alright, that kill worked. Part of the controversy with this game that uh, people didn't like the fact that uh, Sam Fisher could now run and gun. Really? I'm in shadow. Alright, that takes care of them. Take a little bit to get back in practice, but yeah, the uh, controversial stuff about uh, the run and gun because Splinter Cell was known as a, a primarily just a stealth game. People didn't like the fact that you could now gun people down and get into big firefights. And the other thing was the loss of the voice actor, um, Michael Ironside. They got this new guy that I think he did an excellent job, but this was my first Splinter Cell, and I wasn't used to Michael Ironside from the earlier ones. And the, the, I guess the funny part about the Michael Ironside story is that the reason he was replaced is because he was too old. And they decided to go with mocap uh, for this game. So they needed a younger actor that could, you know, act out and do all the stuff that you see Fisher doing here. Which unfortunately for Ironside, he was uh, too old to be doing so much action. All right, let's keep going. Disable that thing? I'm working on it. How's the kid? Don't ask. Charlie, we're in. All right, all right. All you need to do is disable the voltage oscillator and disrupt the competing signal. Just hold still. No talk, okay? Charlie, how about an on-off switch? Uh, do you see a blue button? Yeah. Hit it. What are you saying? What are you telling me, buddy? What are you telling me? Jeez. Jammer's offline, Vic. You can't stop the blacklist. Word of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military installation on the island of Guam. The deadliest strike on a U.S. base since Pearl Harbor. A group calling themselves the Engineers has claimed responsibility. Released an internet video complete with chilling footage from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the Blacklist. The Blacklist. The Blacklist. America. This is the Blacklist. The Blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we have one demand. demand. You have soldiers in 153 countries. Bring your troops home. Your troops, your troops home. Now. 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 Or every, every week, week, we will, will attack you. We will not negotiate. You will not stop the blacklist. blacklist. You have seven days until the next attack. The, the choice, choice is yours. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers.
What's our status? Paladin 1 and the 4th Echelon team are ready, Madam President, but we can't locate Mr. Fisher. His friend is fighting for his life. Find Victor Cost, you'll find Sam. Hundreds dead in Guam, a countdown to more attacks targeting America. The world is looking for answers, Mr. Fisher, and I don't have any. 4th Echelon needs to find them, and it can't do that without a leader. It's distraught, Vic. One of Vic's men comes with me, no questions asked. You can have Charlie Cole. And Grimm's daughter has recruited one of the CIA's best for mission support. Isaac Briggs. And Grimm is out. She didn't want you on this mission either. Sorry, Sam, that's a non-starter. Nobody works better with you than she does. Welcome to Fourth Echelon, Mr. Fisher. Pretty sweet, right? First time in a plane. No. A deeper read with this engineer's organization. Nothing yet. Briggs and our contacts are isolating probable candidates. What about the names? American freedom, American blood. Potential attacks, each with a timer. Yeah. Five days before American consumption. And counting. We're running analytics to find the target locations as we speak. I'll get you up to speed on the plane. Prototype military transport. Loaded with custom modifications. Armory, infirmary, holding cell. Every resource that you'd have on the ground. Fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Problem breaks? Just got my subdermal radio put in. Felt like someone used a jackhammer. This puppy makes Air Force One look like a paper airplane, hey Sam? Do you want to discuss potential upgrades? Later. Walk me through this. News and internet data mining. Predictive analytics, photo and video forensics. Plus backdoors in the foreign ELIN systems and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI. All in real time. This is what you were bragging about? Yes, am I? Strategic mission interface. We've made significant improvements since the early system Charlie worked on. I'll let him get you up to speed. The best thing is, you can control everything from right here or from your opsat when you're on the ground. Impressive. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna check out my new digs. Thanks, Charlie. Okay, and oh, I need to use the SMI. Hey, Sam, almost forgot your offset. New and improved. It's sort of like your SMI light when you're on the ground. Data transmissions, drone controls, scanning. Gotcha. All you gotta do is slave it to the SMI, do a couple of calibrations, and you're good to go. Thanks, Charlie. All right, we're going to adjust this for brightness uh, for YouTube purposes. All right, and the SMI is where we launch our missions. Um, let's just do a brief tour of the plane here. And I just have to say, even with these uh, graphics pumped up to 4K resolution, Can you they still don't look that good. I don't know how it's looking on YouTube, but this game really could have used some love and, and a remastering. Okay, let's contact Sarah. Hi, sweetheart. It's me. Dad, hi. How are you? I saw the news in the Blacklist video, and it's... I'm fine. I can't tell you where I am or what I'm doing. Of course you can't. But you're okay? And Uncle Vic's okay? Vic... It's part of why I called. Vic got hurt in Guam. Hurt bad. But he's gonna be alright. Tell me he's gonna be alright. Well, you know, he's tough. And they're gonna take good care of him. That's not an answer, Dad. Where is he? Walter Reed, I could be there in an hour. Look, you don't have to do anything. He's on a med back plane to land still. Charlie's keeping tabs on for me. As soon as he hears something, anything you let me know, okay? You hear me, Dad? Yeah, I will. Right now, I, uh, I gotta go. Of course you do. Just let me know you're alive once in a while, all right? <laughs> I will. I love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo. OK. 
Okay, so I am to contact Sarah after each mission to keep her uh, up to date on what's going on. With Vic. Here's the infirmary. I don't know if there was ever really anything to do in here. This is the flight deck out here. going on in the flight deck, although this will be a uh, focal point in some missions later on in the game. Oh, wait a minute. I think we do use this infirmary it might be used as a prison Who have you got on we'll see later on but yeah this this Sam, just isn't very Charlie's got impressive some new theories working on. the way this looks the, the, uh, on the, street? the graphics here hey, Sam. got Briggs Briggs you settled in yet I'm working on it I usually get a lot more prep time before I'm wheels up on a mission CIA is too big to move fast operation like this has got to be agile if it's gonna work Understood. Just wish I had a little more planning time. You'll adjust. And he it's can give now. you um, side missions, co-op missions, where you can actually play with other players, which is cool. And he can become a playable character as well. Either your Fisher or your Briggs in these co-op missions. It's a good way to get Damn experience. It. Damn it! Set up almost Money. complete, Charlie. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Hey, hey, Sam. We're uh, pretty much good to go here. Just gotta overclock a couple of components and then see if my supply rack gets approved by Her Majesty. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Pretty tricked out workshop, huh? I'll be able to upgrade and repair most of our equipment, and if we've got enough cash and the right supplies, then I can test out some sick mods for your gear. Sounds like I'm in good hands. You know it. Hey, you need anything right now? Yeah. I want to look into a helmet. Yeah, thanks. And he also can give you co-op missions as well. Nice work, Charlie. Thanks. And Grim, she can give you. Co-op missions. Not, I don't know if they're co-op. Yeah, I think they're co-op. Listen, too. Sam, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Thought maybe we should clear the air. History is history. That's it? Like you said, we've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, she's got co-op missions and she can help you upgrade the plane. Keep me posted. Something just came in from a contact in Benghazi. I'll follow up with you later. Alright, so... That's the prologue, that's the introduction to Splinter Cell Blacklist. Uh, next time, we will undertake a mission. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.